Hey guys, Jason here with the One Stop How To Guys, bringing you the first and a, a little side series that I like to call Drupal Q&A. Now, this series is just inspired by you guys, uh, questions that you ask in the comments or send in emails, and I thought it would be a little better for some of them to actually put a video out because some of the explanations are a little uh, more in-depth and I think it's easier to show those than it would be to just type up a really long response. So this is the first one. Uh, the question comes from, and I'm probably going to butcher this, so I, I do apologize, uh, Noradine Riched. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but uh, sorry if I got that a little wrong. And his question has to do with view slideshows. Uh, more specifically, a universal slideshow that kind of houses all of the um, most recent posts to a website. Now, this would be like a, a new content kind of slideshow. Not specific to one content type, but kind of everything that gets posted across the site. And he kind of wanted to know what the best way to do this was and uh, what are some of the pros and cons to doing this. Well, let's knock out uh, some of the pros here first. Obviously, um, you're creating a slideshow that doesn't have to be manually updated. So within uh, the first Drupal series that we've done and the advanced Drupal series, both of those slideshows had a specific content type dedicated to them, and in order to change the slides, you had to uh, specifically create that content or edit and remove that content type. Um, this will be a self-updating slideshow, which is awesome because anything that you can automate in the website world is great because you want to do as little work as possible. Um, some of the cons to this are um, only really pop up if you don't set things up properly. And I'll show you what I mean here about this in a minute. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you here real quick all that I have on this site right now. I have um, the administration menu and the adminimal theme on, uh, chaos tools, views, view slideshow, and the libraries module. Essentially just what we need to get a slideshow up and running on the website. Um, beyond that, there's no other modules. I did... Um, for this particular episode, install the corporate clean theme, uh, mainly just to give it a different look. Uh, really, it doesn't matter. You can do this with any theme that you want. So let's get started here. And I want to show you that we currently have two content types on this site. We have the article and the basic page, uh, both of which are provided by default from Drupal. So let's check out the fields here in the article. Um, the, it comes stock with a title, an image, a body, and some tags. And then if we swing over to the basic page content type, you can see that by default it comes with the title and the body, and I've added the image field here. Now this is key. You, can't, you don't want to just come in here and add an image field. What you want to do is add the existing image field into here. So let's, uh, let's add another content type, and let me show you what I mean here. Uh, let's add, we'll call it services. And I'm not going to fill out any really thing else in here. We can leave everything else on. For this, for this it doesn't really matter. Um, so we get the title and the body, and if you notice the machine names for the title and the body have been the same across all three of these content types now. Now that's going to be very important, and it's going to play a big role in how we set up our view. Uh, so to add the image to this, I want to add this existing image field, um, and I will show you why here in a minute. So we're just going to add that, and that's going to be that. Um, real quick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I'm just going to load this thing up with some quick example content. I don't think you really want or care to see that. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now we got some content on this site. So if I pop in here to the content tab, you can see that I have two articles, a basic page, and a services page. Um, due to the 
automatic posting to the front page. You can see that the articles and have uh, popped onto the front page. No big deal. Nothing to worry about there. All right, so let's create a view slideshow that encompasses all three of these content types. So let's go up to structure views and we're going to add a new view here. And I'm just going to call this uh, universal slideshow. This might be a featured content slideshow, you know, whatever you want. Um, now, under show content, we've done show content of type, for example, homepage slide, um, that kind of thing. And that's not exactly what we want to do here. We just kind of want to leave it as all. We want to show all content types. And we're going to create a block, and we're just going to pull the title off the block there. And I want to limit this to four so we can get some uh, interesting features happening here. So let's continue and edit. So now what we have is we have our view with our four different content types in it. Now, I, I'm not going to convert this to a slideshow just yet because I want to show you why we reused fields. Uh, if we come in here and we add, we can add the body and we can add the image field in here. And if you notice, since we're using the same exact fields, all I'm doing here is just trimming this down so that it'll be a little smaller and we can... Uh, we can see everything. I'm also going to use a, a pretty, pretty tiny image style here. So now we have the title, we have the body, and we have the image. And we were able to do that with only using three fields. If you were to create a unique image field for each one of your content types, you would have to have three separate image fields here in order for that to show up properly. Now that can become a bit of a pain when you start theming your website because the styles that you apply to the, the image on the article are going to be different than the styles that are going to be applied to say the basic page and you have to maintain those across three different image fields, across three different body fields. Of course, the title's always gonna be the same because it's the default Drupal title. Um, but it simplifies things. It also simplifies your view because the article is not going to have a title, a body, an image, and then two additional empty image fields. Now, they're not gonna show up in the HTML the way that you think they might, but they're going to store data, and it has to load through all of that. Um, and it's just going to return null for each of those. So it's actually better to, to simplify it all down into this one particular um, image field, body field, title field. Uh, that way, it's universal. It becomes very easy for you to do this. Um, I want to limit this down to four. And we're just going to show all the content. And now all we got to do is kick this thing over to a slideshow here real quick. And I am going to throw the controls on it just so we can kind of bounce back and forth through the different slides that are available here. So there we go. Uh, let's do some quick rearranging here to throw that image on top. And we'll call it a day on that. So let's save this. Head up to structure blocks and let's throw this on to a block region here. Uh, we'll put it in a highlighted section and close this down. So here we go. We have our slideshow. I don't know much about the block regions of this theme. Uh, let's demonstrate them and see if there's something way across the top, which looks like there is. I'd like to... Uh, see this a little bit better than um, let's throw that in the banner region just so it stands out a little bit from the rest of the content so we can see what's going on so there it is so now we have you can see that's article 2 and then when the slideshow moves on you can see now we have a service there and it's not distinct to a specific content type, but everything still looks okay. We're not rendering out any additional things that we don't need because 
we used all the same fields and it's universal across these different content types. Um, so now the view itself is sorted by post date. So that means that the newest article is going to be pushed into the first slot and whatever's in slot four currently is just going to get pushed off. So now we have a slideshow of four of the most recent brand new pieces of content. Um, one of the cool things that you can do here actually to take this a step further is to add the type of content in here. And let's say that you have image galleries and you have a contact form and you have the services article and basic page here and you're like, you know what? I want this thing to only show up when I post new articles and new services to my site. You know, maybe we have new, new services coming in and out all the time. Or you have products. You know, I, I only want it when I post new product displays. Well, when we apply this, now all we're going to get are the article content type that's going to show up and um, the, the basic, or the services, I do believe, is what we put in here. Yeah. So the basic page that was in there is no longer there. So you now have control over saying, I want to have this featured slideshow of recently post content, but I only want it to be for articles and services, or I only want it to be for basic pages and articles, or I want it to be for everything. Um, and that just gives you a little bit more control over um, whether or not it makes it into the slideshow. Now we can even take this a step farther um, and come in here to taxonomy and let's just add a new vocabulary here and let's call this uh, let's call this featured and this taxonomy is just going to have uh, two terms in it. It's going to have a yes term and it's going to have a no term. So let's get that in there. And then we're going to go to any one of our content types. It doesn't matter. You have to create it somewhere first. Um, and we're going to say featured. And it's going to be a term reference here. And uh, I'm just going to do a select list because you're only going to want to choose one option here. We want the featured vocabulary. And let's save that. So now that that's created, what we need to do is we need to go through each of our content types and come into the manage fields and add this existing featured field. So we're just going to go through here real quick and do that to each one of these, uh, these content types. So we're going to do that to the services as well. Alrighty. So now that we have that, we're going to step back into our view here and we are also going to filter down through that featured field. And we are only going to want the, the items who have the feature of yes. So this just gives us a little further control. Now nothing's going to show up because we don't have any that are featured yes yet. So let's come into the content here and let's just edit this article and we're going to say yes on this article. Um, we want yes on this service. And since we're only specifically saying yes and that's going to be the filter. We don't really need to set article two to no, but let's just say for, for now, we don't want article two to be featured, but we do want this basic page to be featured. What this is going to do is this is going to give us an additional level of control. So say you want to have an article be in here a little longer than, you know, maybe another article or you write an article and you just don't think that it's, good enough for for whatever your purpose is, is you don't want to feature it um, or a service you maybe you re-added a service that you had before and people already know about it uh, and you, you just don't want it to make it into the slideshow now you don't have to so if we check out this view one more time we can see that 
we want published content, period. If it's published, we want it shown here. If it's not published, we don't want people to see it. We want to have this type selector to give us the option to select the different types of content that are going to be posted to this slideshow, to this featured slideshow. Now this is an optional step. If you want everything that you do to automatically filter in, don't set this up. But if you want to have control and say, you know, I want services, but I don't want web forms, or I want articles, but I don't want my basic pages, there you go, you can use this. And then what we did is we set up this taxonomy term here that says, you know, I want to give one level control further so that when I post an article, it doesn't automatically send to that slideshow unless I tell it to. Um, so it just gives you a little extra control on that. And then to recap here real quick within our content types, what we did is we made sure that we reused fields. And we reused these fields so that back in our view, we didn't have to add three image fields, three body fields. And as you scale this out, uh, think of a site that maybe has five, six, seven, eight different um, content types. And they're all flooding into this one view. You don't want to have to remember, oh, did I, add the, uh, did I add the services image field to the view? Because if you forgot to add that, but you added the title and the body, as soon as that slide comes around, it's going to look wrong because it's going to be the one missing the image. By reusing these fields, we don't ever have to remember that. We just have to remember to add it to the content type, and we're done, and the slideshow is going to work. So this is kind of how you can create a universal slideshow. Um, so pros of it, you get a feature block. Um, it, it's kind of a neat feature. Um, it's only really a pro if you need it, if you want it, and if it's going to serve a, a purpose on your website. Um, cons are if you set it up wrong or don't get it working quite right, um, you know, it can be a little confusing. It's not always the easiest thing to do. Um, but really, I, it, there's not a pro-con thing to this. Uh, if it serves the purposes of what you need it to do, then great. If it doesn't, then maybe don't do it. Um, and if you set it upright, there really isn't, isn't a con to it. So um, I hope this is uh, the answer you were looking for. I hope this helps you get it set up. And if anybody else is looking to do the same thing, you know, here it is. Um, feel free. One Stop How To Guys. Uh, my email address is uh, one stop how to guys at gmail.com. Um, you can flood your questions into there. Uh, the, my email address is always at the bottom of this. Um, you can send me your email requests. Hey, post them in the comments. Um, it's less likely that I'll see them in the comments than if you would uh, send me an email. Um, but either way, it's fine. Um, and we'll, we'll get this stuff going. So feel free to ask, ask any other questions that you might have. Um, if you like this video, make sure you give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. Um, head over to onestophowtoguys.com. Make sure you create an account over there. All of these videos get flooded into there. Uh, and it's a great place, and there's new features being added. There's a user forum. So that's it. Like, subscribe, follow, and I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, feel free to send me some more questions. Later, guys.